Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have something very interesting to share with you. You may have heard of this already, but for those of you who haven't, or you'd like to have it again to show to some unbelieving friends, or maybe new Christians kind of on the fence or whatever, uh, or those who aren't awake yet, maybe they'll get a little excited if they see this. It's called The Biggest Discovery Ever. Blood of Jesus Tested in Laboratory Shocking Results Revealed Must Watch. Now you can tell that it's old footage. They took blood off the Ark of the Covenant, which had been concealed in a cave under the spot where Jesus was killed. No doubt God had that all planned out. Why? Because he wanted believers in this day, this day. He knew Ron Wyatt was going to excavate there, collect the samples. See, they didn't have technology for all this back then anyway. So he saved it for us to find now through Ron Wyatt. And then on top of that, they took some of it to an Israeli scientist who found out, guess what? It only has 24 chromosomes. You know how many we're supposed to have, right? We each have 23. When a sperm meets an ovum, the 23 plus 23 makes 46. So actually we have 46 in our bodies. But in our reproductive system, each sperm, each ovum has only 23. Well, this sample that they've collected off the Ark of the Covenant has only 24. It got 23 from Mary and one from the Holy Spirit. And I find that absolutely amazing. Another proof that our God is exactly who he said he was. And another reason why he may call himself the son of man. I don't know. He has 23 human chromosomes. And one from the Holy Spirit. Don't you find that odd? He only needed one. So he must look an awful lot like Mary. You know what I'm saying? Because those chromosomes, when they're mixed, the 23 from the father, 23 from the mother, and they come together, the dominant genes will <clears throat> override the recessive genes. And I don't want to get off into a long biology lesson about that. The point is, it's why we don't always look like our parents. They have recessive genes in them, and it might be in some of the sperm, and some of the eggs. And so, two brown-eyed parents can have blue-eyed children, which is, well, my mother's eyes were bluish, I think. Yeah, they're kind of like mine. So, she had only genes for blue eyes. My father had brown eyes, so he must have had a blue-eyed parent. Brown will always win out over blue. Anyway, that's my little biology lesson for today. I said I didn't want to get off onto that. But anyway, this is something very interesting that you could share with those and take your computer, pull it up and show them. Don't just send them a link. That's what I did because I couldn't see people in person. All my, I couldn't go to their home and say, look, let me show you something. Open my computer, 
pull it up, you know, maybe have it on my desktop or I don't need internet, and then just show it. That's the best way to do it. You can download it. You can use clipconverter.cc, but don't buy into anything they try to sell you, okay? You don't need another version of Adobe Reader. They'll try to tell you that. You just click on out of all that stuff. And just, just put in the link, the like when you click on the word share, you'll get the URL for this video. You know, that thing with all the letters and the numbers, it makes no sense. That's what you put in this, whatever it's called, the, you'll see, um, the space where you put that. And then you click download and you get this and it's free. That's why you got to put up with all that. You know, that's how they make their money. Just don't buy anything. Don't let them trick you into downloading anything. You don't need Adobe Reader. If you've already got one, you're reading videos just fine. You don't need a new one. Okay, so that's my little warning there. That's how you can download a video. I don't like using them, but you can download a video. As long as the video doesn't have music. Let's see, did this one? Let me play it. From the beginning. Let's see. I turned around and saw the expression on her face. I realized a Oh man, That's what only in the beginning. You could try it. You could try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to see if I can put it on my desktop for those left behind. If they get my computer or I get to come back and get my computer and show these videos I put on the front of my desktop. Um, it, it might work. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to end it here, and I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus. Oh, and it also showed, let me tell you this, the blood that she's, the, the wife, Ron White's wife, I believe it is, Sharon, I think her name was, scraped this dried blood into the test tube, poured a tiny bit of sterile water, swirled it around just a little bit. They took some out. And under the microscope, they were all still living. The Bible says the life is in the blood. Yeah, the blood was still living. And from what I understand him to say is all of us would have that same result. If our blood got, you know, like for a crime scene, how sometimes they'll save bloody things case new technology comes up or a delay in the case going to court or whatever and they want to retest it or whatever they can do that rehydrate your blood and supposedly it'll move around like that i didn't know that anyway you take a listen and be amazed it is amazing that they found out that Jesus only has 24 chromosomes. Okay, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, and over each and every one of you as well, and all your devices. I pray you have a happy Monday, and keep looking up, because our redemption draws nigh. Okay, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.